everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my massive ColourPop haul they had a humongous I think it was 40% off sale and I got so much stuff I haven't done a ColourPop haul I haven't bought anything ColourPop related in so long so I'm super excited to show you guys what is in this humongous box so if you're excited to see what I got then go ahead and keep watching so I'm gonna cover my address so you can't see that but so they left USPS left this on my porch with a humongous hole and I don't think it's I don't think it's my mailman because he's pretty awesome uh, and this was Saturday so I think it's I don't think it's him but the company as a whole is really just irritating me because this is like the second package I've received damage and then some have gone missing so <laughs> It's a continuous battle with them. So it comes all bubble wrap. That's so much. I think I, the total total spent was two something. I got 27 items, but one of the items is a whole bundle. So the first thing I'm pulling out here is the Crush Pressed Powder Palette. So I've never tried any of their smaller stuff. I honestly have not tried any of their newer palettes. I think the newest ColourPop palette I got and I hated was the Candyland one. Like, I think that was the newest. So I've I've not really bought anything from them, I don't think. It's a five pan palette and it comes in plastic, which is kind of newer for them because they usually do that cardboard situation. There's no mirror or anything, which is totally fine because we have I have tons of mirrors. So I got I get two shimmers and a brow bone color and then a transition and just a corner to a color to deepen the crease. So that's really pretty, really neutral. I feel like this would be perfect for like my no makeup makeup look days. It's kind of hard to close though. Oh, it's weird. So the next thing is the ColourPop Freckle Pen. If you guys haven't seen my latest, I think it was my latest Sephora haul, I'll link it up here, whichever one it is. I did a Sephora haul and uh, I got a Freck like pen, but it wanted up not being my color. So I saw this was on sale and I was like, freak yes. So we're just gonna, oh, this one's way better. Are you supposed to tap this one? No, probably not. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so this one is definitely more my color. I got this in dark brown. I believe they have several shades, so you can kind of get it in your shade. The only thing is it's not liquid, so you're not tapping to make it like random. Um, but I did wipe it and it still kind of looks like my natural freckles. I have natural freckles, but it kind of looks like that too. So that's pretty cool. I love that. And then I got these Get Graphic and these are liquid liner pen vaults. Ooh, so I got 27 items, but some of them have multiple items to them. So we have a red one. So they just have like the ink pen tips. I'm just swatching them quickly to show you them. Five different beautiful colors. I'm excited for these. I haven't been doing wing liner in so long, but I really, really want to. So one thing I can notice immediately is that they are bleeding into the lines of my hand especially this blue one so I'm hoping they don't do that on the eye. I'm just excited. I honestly I am. I haven't bought anything color pop in so long and this kind of excites me because it's like it's almost like fresh and new. So the reason I stopped buying color pop stuff, I don't have anything against the brand, is they were just producing so much stuff all the time, every week, like literally at one point in time, a year ago maybe, maybe a year or so, it was every week they were dropping a new palette and I was just like stop. It was almost like it was just like sensory overload and I just didn't, I didn't care anymore. I was like, okay, I'm not even about this company anymore and I just moved on. So I am excited. I'm kind of excited because this is all like new to me. Like a lot of this stuff is not new in any means, but it's new to me. I'm excited. And they're not, they're not a bad brand, you know? So I don't have anything against them. It's just, I don't know. They were just kind of like just doing too much. They were doing too much. And I just looked in the mirror and realized that I look like 110% ass. So that is what it is. So I got two of the ColourPop Super Shock blushes from, I think this is the, I want to say this is from the Wine Collection. Brute Flute and Cruel Intentions. I do think that this is from the their little wine 
collection. I don't remember, but it was actually one of the things on my Auntie haul. And I told you some of the stuff is going to be stuff that was on my Auntie haul, but I got it anyways. So I love how the, their blushes feel and they really do apply well. The only problem is if you're not careful, you have to really keep an eye on these because they are kind of like a weird creamy feeling. They can get moldy and nasty very fast. So this one is Cruel Intentions and this one is Brute Flute which I am loving both. So I feel like they both could be worn separate or together because one is shimmy, one is shimmy, one is shimmery and then the other is matte. So the next thing is just a pair of lashes. This is from their Bambi collection and this is in the style Oh Dear. So I've never actually used any of ColourPop's lashes. Couldn't tell you if they're good or not, but I also was not gonna buy this collection and then I did. They look really pretty. They definitely look super, super fake, but they're not very expensive. So I'm not too, too butthurt about that. And I believe that this collection, this lemon collection is a little bit newer because I'm pretty sure I just saw it launch, but these are shadow sticks that I got from there, from the collection. I don't know that I got anything else from the collection, but I definitely got the shadow sticks. I've been using like a lot of cream shadows, so I was excited to get these. And again, they're small, but they're not very expensive. Like I'm looking and you can't see it because of the way the light's hitting it, but if you're coming from behind it, you can see the shadow and there's literally only this much product in this tube. Legitimately, the rest of this is just empty. Yeah, the blue one is kind of like oily. Like it's like wet, it's kind of weird. So we have three of the shadow sticks. This one is Style and Ease. This more gold copper looking one is Citrus Squeeze. And then this one is more yellow and it is Cool Breeze. So the next two things are the Bambi palettes. So I have the Bambi one and then I have Thumper. So they're both five pan palettes. You get some shimmers in there, you get some mattes, and then you get matte glitters. So the top one is Bambi. The bottom is Thumper. So we have a warm tone palette and then more cool tone palette. Very, very cute. So the next thing is the pressed powder blush out of sight. This is the packaging. Eh. And then this is the actual blush. I am loving this. And for summer, oh my God, it's got glitter in it. It's not like the Lizzie McGuire glitter. It's not too, too bad. The ColourPop Lizzie McGuire glitter. If you guys haven't seen that review yet, I'll put it up here. That one's not too bad, honestly. This one right here, but the, the Lizzie McGuire one, oh, glitter. So I got another one of those tiny 5 p.m. palette shadows. And this one is in Cherish. I think they did these around Valentine's Day, if I'm not mistaken. And it's just more reddy, reddy brown colors. So this is Swap, which is sealed with a kiss. This was the Valentine's Day one. So this is another 5 p.m. palette. I'm just excited to have these smaller palettes, honestly, because I do have a lot of really big palettes. And I think with summer coming and we're going to be running a cabin and the beach, I could just kind of toss them in. Armor and another 5 p.m. palette. The packaging for these are actually phenomenal. I won't lie, they're beautiful. The inside packaging not so much like you could definitely tell this is just like a cheap component so this one has a humongous chunky glitter shadow in there not a fan of it because as you can see it makes a mess everywhere somehow it got a finger stick in there and I haven't touched it but it has like purples and stuff which I love and then this is another one 143 which if you do not know what that means it means I love you so I actually am really really loving this color like these hot pinks Ooh, I might have to do again I don't like the big chunky glitter but I feel like I really need to get a look up with this palette I love this one I think that's all my skinny palettes so I got two four five new skinny palettes okay so I got three more things from the Bambi collection I think yes don't know what they are oh this one is their cream pencils I'm assuming that they're eyeliners but they almost look like lip liners and the colors are kind of like lip liner so these are cream gel pencils for your eyes and they're like mauve color they're so pretty actually the first one is meadow the second one is raindrops and then the third one is purdy so these three right here i'm excited to try these I'm not gonna lie i don't have very many of their eye like eye accessories like liners and stuff so i'm excited to try all of the new liners and stuff we will go into this one and this was one of my major anti-haul things 
but I've seen a lot of people say it turned out really nice. This is the Fade Into Hue Pressed Powder Palette. A lot of people, a lot of people have been saying that this is a really good palette. So for the price I paid for it, I was like, I'll try it. If I don't like it, the girls can have it. My family can have it. I love that this is raised. Like it feels like braille. And then this is also raised, so that's really nice. This actually feels really pleasant. I don't know why I like this so much. Every color you can think of of the rainbow is in this palette, and I'm loving the spectrum and the hues that are in here. Like, I just love this. You have mattes, you have shimmers, you have glitters. Oh, you have it all. So I'm excited to try this one out. If you guys want to see a look or something fun created with this, please let me know. I will get it out for you. So the last few pieces are a collection and I'm so excited. I don't know why I didn't get it back last year when it first released, but when I tell you I'm so excited it was available and on sale, I'm so excited. It is the Sailor Moon collab. I will be keeping every piece of this, every piece of this, like this. Oh my God. After school, every day. Me and my sisters every single stinking day so cute so this is like what is that what's that like I don't know how, what this would be but it shifts it almost like shifts smiling then her mouth is open the so one way her mouth is like big and open and then the next way she's smiling it's really cute and this is Sailor Moon X Colourpop pretty guardian oh god this is so like I can't even use this I won't even use this and I'm not gonna lie to you guys that probably will never be touched going to be put back this is more important to me than the Lizzie McGuire one like this was this was my childhood 110% first like cartoony thing that I love to watch I just it was so I used to think that I was so cool like oh look at me and we were trying to be them and it was so fun <laughs> So you have some pressed powder blushes in here from the moon and cat's eye. Like this is probably one, this is so, the packaging is so stunning. Like come on, I'm gonna show you on the inside, but we're gonna put her back. We're gonna put, oh my God, it does it too. I love these, remember these as a kid? Come on, oh God, love this. There's that blush, pretty nice, it's dark pretty I'm not touching it sorry no swatches of this one can't swatch these because like they have little um indents not indents graving engravings I don't know what they would be called but they have pictures on the inside so it's the same packaging but a way more hot pink blush and I believe this one does not have glitter in it like the other one so if you can see I'm trying to show you guys that it ha it's like engraved and so I don't want to mess that up by swatching it I cannot. I cannot. Oh, this is so exciting. I love this. And my husband's probably like, you really did not just buy this to collect it. Yes, I did. Yes, indeed, I did. Okay, so I have two. It looks like these are lip sets, lip bundles. So I have Moonlight and Daylight. So same packaging, a few things different. One says Daylight, one says Moonlight. So it comes with a blotted lip and a glossy lip. Oh my God. These are so beautiful. How could I not use these glosses? Oh, these are so beautiful. So these are the moonlight ones. And I'm gonna get daylight back out because they seem almost identical. I would hope not. No, maybe. No, they're definitely different, just not by much. So we have moonlight on top and then daylight on the bottom. You would think that the darker one would be for moonlight. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. All right, cool. So you get a blotted lip, which I do not like their blotted lips. And then you get a glossy lip, which I do love their glosses. If you missed my gloss video, I'll put it here for you. I love ColourPop lip glosses. And then the last two things are Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter. So these say body glitter. In that video that I just did with the Lizzie McGuire, it doesn't say body glitter on it. But these do. Remember I said some of them do. These do. The rest of them don't. That's so weird. The newer ones don't. So I got Moonlight Legend and Moon Prism Power. These are so pretty. Like I'm like, I feel like I should have white gloves on. I feel like I just need to be careful. So I mess them up, I'm gonna be real sad. So, oh my god. I love they have the little designs on the caps. And then if you guys don't know, this is literally just body glitter. That's what this is. I don't really wear it. 
Um, I did recently find out that I can wear it on my hair, so I've been doing that. So one is like a purple, and then the other one is like a baby pink. Ooh, uh, I love these. I will definitely put these in my hair. This one's my favorite. And this one is Moon Prism Power. Oh my gosh, that's so messy. I think that's all of my things though. I just have to be careful. White gloves, white gloves. All right, guys. Well, that is it for my ColourPop haul. Let me know down below what your favorite item was that I got. Have you gotten anything from ColourPop recently? What are your thoughts? I really stopped buying from them, and I'm kind of glad I did because opening all these things, I was so excited. We're like a couple years ago when they were going crazy launch and everything I was just so not excited when I would get a package because it was like oh I got this Patrick package okay but like they just launched something so I have to order it now so I just feel like I was really really super excited from taking a break from Colourpop and I absolutely love all of the things I love all of the things I'm so excited to try them uh let me know down below what you think I should try first should I do some looks for you guys I know they're old items so you don't want reviews but maybe I'll get some looks or something up for you guys and as always guys make sure you hit that like button for me if you like this video and I hope that you did make sure you are subscribed to my channel I do six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those I'll see you on the next one bye